Hey everyone, so today I thought I'd do a quick review of something new that's coming to WordPress. It's called Gutenberg. Um, and basically, as we see on the Gutenberg website, it says get ready to make your words, pictures and layout look as good on screen as they do in your imagination without any code. And if you're new to WordPress and um, you're a beginner and you're creating your website, this is exciting. If you're a developer, you might be a bit weary of this. Anyway, so I thought I would show you exactly what it looks like. It hasn't rolled out yet, but you can test it on a plugin or test it by using a plugin, let me rather say. I suggest you only do this on a development site so that it doesn't break your current site. So you can actually head to the website and have a look exactly. But what I'm going to show you is it actually running on a test site. So I'm going to head to my test site. I'm just going to go to plugins and add new and I'll add it. But in future, when this rolls out, this will just be a part and parcel of your WordPress installation so as soon as you install WordPress it will be available to you and I do believe when it first rolls around you'll be able to choose whether you use this editing experience or you use the old editing experience so it's really really up to you what you want to use in the beginning I think in time it will probably just be this editing experience and I do know that they've been working on this for a very long time so anyway, I have installed it and we'll head to um, a post or a page and just show you exactly how that is going to work. So we'll head to our, let's start with the page and we'll add a new page and then just start to get a feel exactly what the experience looks like. So there we go. As soon as I click add new page, it starts to look quite different. So I'll head to, let's say for example, um, one of my other sites and I'll go straight to my Nicola Tweed website or I should actually go to the WordPress workspace but this should be fine whoops and we will log in and just show you what the old experience looks like actually let's pop back to this post here and just have a look if we can go back to the old one no I don't see anything there okay so let's just try and log in here Hmm. Okay, let's try the WordPress workspace. Oops, not working. Okay, so that's logged in. Let's look at a page. Click add new page in our WordPress workspace. And there you go this is what the old editing experience looked like um, not as sophisticated as this Gutenberg is so let's head back and see exactly what we can do so basically we can add our title here so let's call it the about us page and we can start adding in the content yeah which is quite awesome we hover over it we get a chance to actually create a heading a list of quotes just um, let's make a heading there so we'll make it into a heading and we'll just keep it as a h3 tag that's perfect and we'll make it bold and italics if you want you obviously have to bold and italics it there okay so that's quite cool then you can go ahead and you can actually add in a gallery you can add in an image and i assume this is a heading so just adding in blocks of content um you can click add block and then it brings up all these awesome blocks that you can just add in so it's really easy for you to format your blog post or your page so we're just going to add in um, some content so let's go to cupcake and grab some content and add that in okay so we'll add that in and then let's see what else can we add okay so we can actually go on 
and we can move things around super super easy by just going up and down here okay so once you're finished we want to add in something else so let's see we're going to just have a look more options okay and now when we're done with that we just press enter gives us the next option which is adding an image so you can upload an image or you can add it from the media gallery which makes it super easy so let's upload a quick image um let's just see that's perfect okay and that image will simply be added you can also align it whether you want it left middle you can link it you can even add edit the image there if you want you can then put in a gallery that's super awesome okay so another thing we want to look at over here on the right hand side we've got a bit more information and options basically it's just showing you it's visible to the public so much like we had on the old page editor we had status with draft visibility public okay so the public publish pending review and move to trash then we've got featured image much the same you can have discussion page attributes table of contents okay um so let's see what else we can do so we finished here we don't really want a caption okay let's see we can add an image okay convert to a shared block not sure what that is and you can edit this block and if you don't like that just delete okay um and that's basically it so we can click publish or we can click preview and have a look and that is basically our page and of course your layout will look a lot like um whatever theme you're using so i'm using the simple i think it's 2015 or 2016 theme which is standard with your wordpress install but just looking at the layout here um it's pretty awesome the top here looks like if you can add a block so let's add another block here at the top sure there is a way to do this but okay and close that we don't want that one remove it okay and yeah that's basically it. it's pretty cool um yeah there's some options here on the side you can look at but that's just a quick general overview of gutenberg and how awesome it is and how i think that people are really gonna enjoy editing their blog posts and their pages now and find it a lot easier of course it's something new so you are going to have to get used to it but um, i think this is a great step forward um, for wordpress so that's my review on Gutenberg. I'd love to know what you think. Um, drop me a comment below and let me know. Cheers.